In this video, we're going to learn how to find the last occurrence of a character in a string using C. The first thing we'll do is declare a car array and store a string inside of it. So we'll have here car string to declare the car array, and we'll store into this car array the string with the characters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and then A, B. So this string has length 10 because there's 10 characters in the string, and each character in the string is stored at an index in this string car array. So A is stored at the index zero, B is stored at the index one, and so on for the rest of the characters in this string. Now the string does end with a special null terminator character, but that character does not count towards the length of the string. Now what we wanna find is the last occurrence of a character in this string. So for example, the character lowercase a occurs here but the last occurrence of the character lowercase a is here at index eight. We want to find the index of that last occurrence of a character. Now some characters like f only occur once. So for them, their last occurrence is going to be their first occurrence and that's okay. Other characters like for example, lowercase z don't occur at all. We'll use negative one to represent the index of a character that does not occur at all in the string. So to solve this problem, we'll first find the length of the string itself using the strlen string length function that's defined inside the string.h library. So we'll include string.h. Then down here, we'll declare a variable called length of type int, and we'll initialize it with the return value of strlen when it's called with our string as an argument. So the strlen function is going to return the length of the string, not including the special null terminator character that ends the string. So in the case of this string, length will be set to 10. Then we'll create a loop to examine the string one character at a time. We'll have a loop with a counter variable i that's going to be initialized to zero. We'll have it go up to the length of the string and we'll increment i by one with each loop iteration. So we're going to use i to look at each character in the string in order from the first character in the string to the last character in the string. So in the first iteration of the loop, i is going to be zero and we'll use it to check this character here. Then in the next iteration of the loop, i is going to be one and we'll use it to check this character here and so on for each character in the string in order from the first character in the string all the way up to the last character in the string. Now we'll create a special variable called index and index is going to keep track of the last occurrence of the character that we've found in the string. So we'll initialize index to negative one, just in case we never find the character in the string. But for example, if we're looking for the character lowercase a, we would start checking for it here and we would find it and update index to be zero. Then we would keep checking each character in the string. We would not update index until we find the character lowercase a again, here at index eight. Then we would update index to now be eight. Once we reach the end of the string in this loop, index would store the last occurrence of the character lowercase a. And we'll have solved the problem. So let's implement this algorithm now. We'll declare a variable of type car called character that's going to store the character that we're looking for. And initially, we'll look for the character lowercase a. We'll also declare the index variable that's going to store the index of the last occurrence of the character that we're looking for. And again, we'll initialize it to negative one, just in case we never find the character in the string. Index will remain set to negative one in that case. Then in the loop body here, we'll check to see if the character in the string at the index i is equal to the character that we're looking for. If it is, we found an occurrence of the character. And in that case, we'll update index to store the current index i. Then by the time this loop is done, we'll have found the last index of the character that we're looking for in the string. We could output that index. Down here, we could output using printf, percent %c to output the character itself, and then last occurrence, and then colon, percent %d to output the index itself, followed by a new line. And then we could output the character and the index. 
Now, if we never find the character in the string at all, index is going to remain set to negative one because this code will never execute to update it to some other value. We could check for that and output something special in that case. So if index is equal to negative one, then we'll output here percent C not found in string, and we'll output the character where that percent C is. Otherwise, we'll output the last occurrence of the character here. So we could save, compile, and run a program, and we get that the last occurrence of the character, lowercase a, is at the index eight. So our code is working correctly. Now, one thing we could do is put this logic inside a function. So that way we can call it anywhere in our program with different strings and different characters defined in those strings. So for example, up here, we could declare a function called last occurrence. And the function could return an int, the index of the last occurrence of the character in the string. The function could accept the string itself as an argument, as well as the character defined in that string as an argument. We could copy this and then provide a definition of the function down here. And what we'll do is just copy and paste our logic here into this function body. So I'll copy all of this and put this into the function body. We'll declare a variable called index inside the function and we'll assign to it the value negative one, the same as before. And the logic is gonna follow exactly the same as before. Only this time, we're going to work with a string and a character that have been supplied as arguments to this function. Now at the end of the function, we're going to want to return that index. So down here, after the loop is done, instead of outputting index, we're going to return index. So up here now, we can call this function and we'll store the return value into the index variable declared in the main function. We'll have last occurrence and we'll pass it our string and our character as arguments. So we can save, compile and run our program and we get that the last occurrence of the character lowercase a is at index eight, which is correct. We could test out our function when the character does not occur in the string at all. So for example, the character lowercase z does not occur in the string at all. In that case, the function is going to return negative one. We'll check that index is equal to negative one. And in that case, we'll output this. We'll output a new line here at the end as well, just to make our output look a bit nicer. So we can save, compile, and run the program. And we get lowercase z not found in string. So this is how we can find the last occurrence of a character in a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.